Martin Freeman, Mr. Miller. And Mary Margaret Quincy, producer. What was your initial reaction to the character? Um, and then maybe also if you could talk about how Cairo Sui is maybe different from all your other characters you've played. Uh, yeah, definitely. I, well, I remember receiving the script, being on set in Montreal, and it was just this side email. And then I opened up to find this horrific yet beautiful, and, and like it's described in the film, just this romantic horror, um, you know, this horrific story romanticized. And I remember being so taken aback by Cairo Sui because at least what I've experienced in my career, and I think a lot of young girls can say the same, I feel like teenage girls are often written in the same bratty, no-nonsense manner. Um, but Cairo, uh, she's so incredibly intelligent uh, and, and appears so wise behind her years that I think I was excited, one, to not only be able to explore that, but then two, um, obviously the, the topic of the film is a little bit riskier, a little bit something that, you know, is, it's... It, it's a scary thing to, you know, approach. And um, obviously as an artist, you also want to be able to take ri risks and explore what that could be. Um, and with someone like Cairo, who, you know, is so charming initially and has this weird way about her. It, um, I don't know, I, I just was really excited. Great. Um, Martin. When Jade first talked to Martin, I remember she called me and I could just hear the excitement in her voice and the chemistry that they had. And so. Yes. I almost threw up. Yeah, she did. Yeah, we, we both almost fainted. It was like a co-fainting situation. Um, and what was so special was that what she found with Martin is what she was able to find with Jenna. We were looking for talent and execution, but chemistry more than anything. And even over Zoom, when Jade and Jenna met, it, it set this unbelievable tone. It was like lightning in a bottle. So we were excited and grateful. The process was fun, and it set us up to have a really fabulous shoot in the summer in Georgia. Um, I hope that you can take away grace for characters who aren't a perfect villain or a perfect victim. I guess I'll go. <laughs> um, what can I say? Yes, I, I'm going to piggyback off of what Jade said a little bit in terms of I, one of my favorite things about movies. One, when you get adrenaline afterwards, like you're excited to participate in life, and two, when you get in the car and everyone is speaking over each other because they're arguing, you know, their opinions and what they think. It's, it's why we go to the movies in the first place. It's what makes us feel, you know, excited about art, and it's something that's attainable to everyone. Um, I guess speaking from my perspective as a young person, I would say it's really, really easy. easy. I fall victim to it as well, to, um, you know, put ourselves in situations, especially as young people, because we're so excited to have found this newfound independence and freedom, um, and, you know, voice that, that we're looking for. And it, it's entirely understandable and acceptable and reasonable to, to seek these experiences, but I think it's also very, very smart and good to be aware that you're not necessarily sure of who you are dealing with. You're not sure if these people are able to reflect on their own past life choices, and learn from their mistakes. Um, you just, it's, uh, you know, uncharted waters out there. So, you know, I think it's important to explore all options, but, uh, you know, like Jay said as well, give yourself grace and uh, you will fumble here and there. Too, and just, there's, there's so much that visually went into the film as well um, that I think that, you know, going into with, with fresh eyes you're not aware of, um, but it, 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 it's so beautifully layered and, and it is that thing where you're, um, you are, you're, it's voice, the voiceover is Cairo, you know, and again, this is a new experience. It's different for her. She hasn't experienced it before. So, of course, it's going to be beautiful and exciting and, and wonderful. But Jade is so brilliant in the sense that she's so self aware. And, and so, so ahead of the curve that, you know, you always have char characters like Boris and, and um, your wife to, to remind you that uh, things may be going south. I just, I don't know. I just wanted to mention that because I love it also when you, when you pick up new things. And that excited me about the script as well. And to me, the beginning of everything for us, it set the movie on this really great track to be successful right from the get. And um, he brought such intelligence and thoughtfulness to it that it made us confident moving forward in the casting process. And it made it not only appealing for us, but for the other members of the cast who wanted to come and do it. You know, 
Martin standing beside it, us having this wonderful stretch from Jade. Of course, Leonard Cohen. You said what? You don't listen to a lot of Phoenix, but you got Donovan on here, Blonde red, uh, Redhead. What's up? I know you're into weird stuff, so. Swans? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You've yeah. been um, like in a couple months at the Oh, no. Here, I'll take a photo of you. Oh, okay.